kids. So this is Sherry Mosley and we are going to be checking in for our beautiful, beautiful full moon. Uh, it's October, oh sorry, <laughs> I'm a month ahead, September 9th and 10th. Uh, it's at about three in the morning Pacific time. So we are connecting in with the Councils of Light and the Elohim for our light language as this full moon is really beautifully bringing in this new energy and it's really sitting nicely with this Mercury retrograde allowing everything to slow down so that there is an opportunity to really allow yourself to come to a place of stillness with this it's almost like a, a doorway opening into this beautiful new era as we've processed so much new energy from the conjunction that happened end of July and beginning of August and really layering in all through August having those moon cycles there this is our full, first full moon of really soaking in everything that has come in and processed at that time and so you could say we're officially in these new chapters now so there may be some adjustments that are occurring now with the retrograde energy some review time but there is a definite feeling of just peace and beauty in this new frequency and with this then you are allowed to make these these little adjustments and it may maybe it's big for some of you if you've put things off and they've gotten into larger situations that need to be addressed but mostly it is just little minor adjustments on maybe the way you've been doing things in relationships or your business or your personal life we are in Virgo season which is more detail oriented so you may be doing you know more busy work and then there may be some beautiful new things that are coming in as well as part of this new energy really settling in so we're going to be connecting with the Elohim and the Councils of Light to bring in the light language activation for this full moon. Kiara unu koshi atana ke asha atashi akia asho ku atara ku ku ne te she karo o she ara ne te eke ata eke ata ashi a koshi unu she ata atano. Ata shiaka nane ata eta katana o kua she ata e hata shana atea aro uku tuana ashi eshtiana naneka ara reta e arana neka nanuku ata she eka eka nuku tuare eke tiana tiana neke ete atana Atana ne atana ne ka o tua atea ne sheata ne sheata no ne ka o kua sheata ne kata a ne kata ne hotoku a o hotuata ne sha ateka he atea sha ata. And they are showing that there are many new chapters and frequencies and some are still on the fence and this is coming back to that beginning of July before the conjunction where there was a somewhat of a bifurcation as some were choosing to still play out some karmic paths they were not quite ready to release and so this review time with Mercury retrograde will allow for some clarity in those areas but they're really with this full moon encouraging you to be brave 
Step forward into what you know is the truth. Kia ano nu kosta a ne kara neki e a kora ne asha anu ko ana ne te ke a te autoro o ko a te ana e ke a to de te e te a ne te a de a to da atara ne atara re e na ne te e a ra nu to a ra ne ata ne atara ne ke a ro to a ra. Ro to ara ne e anō ko ne a te ako ne a to ko ko ara na te atara na ko na ko re e na ne a sha no hakata ate e a hata ne ke a hata e a ka ata a she e e she e ha ora ane ne ne te a ane a ata ne e te. So, they are saying that in the so in the longer transmission that I'm about to do, we're gonna go deeper into this alignment of either assisting you to let go of what you may still be clinging to, out of feeling like you're not ready to face some of these karmic behaviors that you are staying in. And there are some that have released them, and those who have released them will now start stepping into the higher benefits of having released those. So the transmission is either going to assist you with getting out of those karmic things that you're holding on to, the patterns, behaviors that you are afraid to step out of, or it's going to allow you to blossom fully into what you did let go of and allowing you to swiftly manifest this. And either way, you're swiftly manifesting, you know, this new possibility, but if you're still in the karmic paths, those are just going to be flushed up to the surface so that you can see more clearly what you are clinging to and afraid to release. And this does feel like it's going to be all very gentle, um, but it'll get more stern come eclipse time. So right now is more of a, a gentle surfacing of things so that you can start taking the right steps or jumping forward if you're already in this alignment and starting these new paths and chapters excitedly. So, I hope that you're all doing well with this beautiful, it's Pisces full moon, so <laughs> very spiritual and uh, just dreamy, immersive. I always love those Pisces energies, they're so delicious. And we just finished the Mount Shasta Golden Star of Light Retreat absolutely profound transmissions. I did about, I don't know, six meditations. I went up to the mountain, did six meditations at the different sacred locations that are extremely powerful with all of the new energy. And I put all of this up on the retreat replays. So if you feel called to do this now to help you to align with the new energy further to get out of a lot of the old energy i highly recommend it and i'll put the link for that below and we will be stepping into the seven gateways of paradise enlightenment connecting again to the encinitas vortex for these beautiful transmissions of connecting to your true core light and allowing this, you know, the new frequencies and really coming into a higher awareness of being as the light being that you are in those sessions. And I know a lot of you have been waiting for this. As, you know, a lot of you want to do Akashic Enlightenment. Most people want to do the one-on-one -on -one sessions. Um, but 
but that does come at a higher cost because I am spending all my time with one person, but I am also doing the Kashuk Enlightenment Level 1 webinar right now, so it's not too late to join. There are replays. I've uploaded everything, so if you want to jump in now, now is the time. This is a great time to start doing this or if you've already done all of level one training with me before in the past you can sign up as an alumni but it's just a great time to be doing this with the new energy plus we're in this review period uh, with the retrograde of mercury and of course i still have all of the personal sessions Shamanic Akashic Record readings if you're needing personal assistance to get out of these karmic situations that you can't sort out, please sign up for a personal session for assistance. And if you're having any issues on the physical level, there is the Asian Medicine Aquamarine Crystal and Light sessions that I can do for you online, and then I can send you the herbal medicine to assist your physical body with anything that you may be struggling with um, or just, you know, boosting up your general health overall. That's uh, just what we do as we come into the fall winter season in Asian medicine. And yes, of course, we have all the Aqualorian Crystal and Light healing trainings. Those are still going on as one-on-one -on -one trainings. And for those of you interested in light language, there is the Akashic Aura light language sessions. So plenty of things going on uh, if you need any assistance. There's also, of course, the uh, shamanic journey training. That's also another option. So I hope that you are all doing well and enjoying all of this amazing new energy that this full moon is bringing in and I look forward to connecting with you, sending you all so much love and light. Enjoy the journey and bye for now.